Today I'm going to explain a horror drama film called The Bad Seed. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie, we see a nine-year-old girl named Emma Grossman, watching a cat drowning in a fountain through her room's window. She closes the blinds and goes on with her morning routine, showing no remorse to the drowning cat. Emma lives with her widowed father named David Grossman. She is an excellent student and a well-mannered kid. However, she seems to have no human emotions. That day at breakfast, Emma tells him of her ambition to win a citizenship award at school. As the two talk, Emma's aunt, Angela, comes in. She informs David of a new babysitter she has found for Emma. It turns out that Emma's previous babysitter suffered an unfortunate accident. As they talk, Emma points out the dead cat in the fountain. David brings the cat out, but Emma seems void of any emotions about its death. That day at school, a wasp scares the children as they study. As the students retreat in fear, Emma bravely takes a glass and captures the wasp to let it fly outside the window. Meanwhile, David interviews a babysitter named Chloe. He likes her portfolio of work, so he hires her. Chloe seems to be interested in David. Back at school, Emma's classmate, Katie, is playing when she bumps into Emma who helps her get up. Their teacher watches the events unfold. It looks as if Emma is trying to be compassionate to win the citizenship award. That night, Emma practices smiling in front of the mirror. The following day is the award day. David dresses up Emma and drives her to school. All the parents and students are seated in the audience, when the teacher announces that Milo has won the citizenship award. Emma is beyond disappointed. When David talks to Emma about Milo's win, she says that she was the one who deserved it, and begins insulting Milo. She apologizes when David looks at her disapprovingly. Sometime later, when no one is watching, Emma takes Milo to show him a cliff nearby. When Milo suggests returning, Emma walks towards him, and the screen goes blank. Later, when Milo's parents ask her if she has seen him, she lies and says she hasn't seen him since the bonfire. Suddenly, two girls come running from somewhere, screaming for help. All the parents run to see Milo has fallen off the cliff and drowned in the ocean. His father carries his washed-up body, and tries giving him CPR, but Milo is dead. The following morning at breakfast, David asks Emma how she feels, but she completely ignores the fact her friend died the day before. Later, the new babysitter, Chloe, comes to the house. That night, David isn't home. Emma finds Chloe in David's room stealing some of David's medicines. Later as they watch movies, Emma confronts her about the drugs. She promises to not tell David if Chloe does what she wants. Emma then orders her to get her an ice cream. Chloe calls the little girl a bitch, but does what she says. The following day is Milo's memorial. After the ceremony, everyone is crying except for Emma. David talks to Milo's parents, and finds out that the medal is missing. They assume that it sank in the ocean. Just then, Emma begins to cry too. It is as if she is pretending to be sad in front of Milo's parents. When they come back home, David is worried about Emma's behavior. When he folds Emma's laundry that day, we see that Milo's medal is hidden under Emma's mattress. David looks through the pictures of the award day, and finds several pictures of Emma glaring at Milo. He suspects that his death has to do something with Emma. Later that day, Emma's teacher, Mrs. Ellis, and a police officer visit David to talk about Milo's death. Mrs. Ellis claims that someone had seen Emma with Milo in the cliff before his death. Emma listens to their conversation from the door. She fakes falling on a vase and hurting herself to stop the adults from talking. Seeing that Emma is hurt, Mrs. Ellis and the officer leave. While taking care of Emma's wound, David asks her if she was with Milo in the cliff, but Emma denies. When he reveals that Mrs. Ellis said she was, Emma gets agitated and yells that Mrs. Ellis hates her. The following day, Chloe goes to their side house where David is working. She asks him if she can smoke there, but David denies, saying that the place has too many inflammable liquids. Right after, Chloe takes Emma to the street to play with her scooter. While they are at it, the two see Mrs. Ellis's car in front of Milo's home. She is talking to Milo's mother. Chloe says that they are building a case against Emma. She knows that Emma did something to Milo. However, the little girl acts like she doesn't know what Chloe is talking about. When they come back home, they continue the conversation. Chloe tells Emma that if they find out what happened to Milo, they will sit Emma in an electric chair. This scares Emma, but she still doesn't admit to doing anything. Later that day, Chloe is looking for Emma around the house, when we notice the wasp nest that had been in the ceiling of the outhouse is gone. Then, we see Mrs. Ellis drive away from Milo's home. As she drives, a wasp distracts her which almost causes an accident. She continues to drive when the camera pans to the back seat. 
The wasp's nest lies there. Emma has put the nest in the car to try and kill her teacher. Back at home, Chloe finds Milo's medal under Emma's mattress. She hangs it in a lamp in David's dresser so that Emma can be caught. David is in his bathroom, when Emma comes to his room and sees the medal. She gets it off the lamp and hides it behind her, but David notices. He brings her back to her room, and confronts her about it. Emma lies and makes up a story about Milo giving the medal to her as they played. David goes for a drive to take mind off this, when he sees a car crashed on the side of the road. He also calls Angela and asks her to find Emma a therapist. David begins to get nightmares about Emma and Milo. The following day, Emma confronts Chloe about her putting the medal there. She is furious. Just then, David comes downstairs and asks Emma to come with him. He takes her to Milo's home to return the medal back to his mom. She is confused, but thankful that she brought it back. She then informs them about Mrs. Ellis's death. She had had a car accident because of the wasps. David is surprised. Emma begins to cry, claiming that Mrs. Ellis was her favorite teacher. However, on their way home, Emma seems to have forgotten about Mrs. Ellis's death and talks about baking cookies with Chloe. David is unsettled by Emma's behavior. Later, as David is working in the outhouse, he notices that the wasp's nest is gone. He suspects his daughter for Mrs. Ellis's death. The following day is Emma's first appointment with her therapist, Dr. March. She and Emma have a long chat. After the session, the doctor tells David that Emma is like any other normal child, Emma even fooled a psychiatrist. When the two come back home, David comes across Chloe sunbathing in her sports bra. He asks her to go to Emma. As Chloe and Emma talk, she tells the little girl that David was looking at her seductively earlier. She also adds that she can be her stepmother. Furious, Emma screams at her to stay away from her dad. That night, Emma asks David if he likes Chloe. David is confused. She also reveals about Chloe wanting to be her stepmother. However, David is late for a date, so he leaves without giving her much of an explanation. Sometime later, Chloe hears a noise as she is watching TV. She goes looking for Emma, but cannot find her anywhere. She looks at the outhouse through the window and sees a shadow there. She goes out to look for her. When she gets into the outhouse, the door closes. She tries to open it but it seems to be locked from outside. Just then a fire starts spreading on the floor. Chloe sees Emma watch her through the window. She tries to hit her but the fire indulges her, killing her eventually. David comes home to the firefighters and paramedics in his house, they tell him about Chloe's death. Emma has been taken to an official's home, he finally gets to Emma and hugs her. That night, David comes to Emma's room. He sits down in front of her and lovingly asks her if she hurt Milo. He assures her that he will do anything he can to help her, but she has to tell him the truth. Emma finally admits that she pushed Milo off the cliff. She makes an excuse by saying that he was going to report her for taking his medal. She then casually says that she won't do it again. David is horrified. He then asks her about Mrs. Leviah, Emma's previous babysitter. She reveals that she pushed her down the stairs because Mrs. Leviah grabbed her hand. She then claims that Leviah should have been more careful. Emma gets progressively aggressive as she talks. When asked about what she did to Chloe, she yells at David and blames Chloe for trying to be her stepmother. David is anxious, he cannot believe that his little daughter can commit such a horrible crime. The following morning, the town sheriff calls David and says he wants to meet Emma. However, David makes an excuse about her being sick. He then takes her to their lake house far away. Their housekeeper welcomes them. Later that day, the sheriff calls David again to inform him that the fire was set deliberately by someone, but they don't know who. Seeing that his daughter might get caught, he is anxious. David has a gun with him at the house. He looks at it now and then thinking if he can put it to use to solve the situation. The following day, as David is asleep, Emma comes into his room and kisses him. She closes all the windows and turns all the gas stoves on in an attempt to kill her father. Emma then goes by the lake and stays there. Just then, David wakes up and smells the gas filling up the house. He quickly opens the windows, and turns the stoves off. He sees Emma outside at the lake, and realizes that she has tried to kill him. He walks up to her and asks her why she did that. Emma replies that if something happened to him, she gets to go live with her aunt, Angela, who actually likes her. David holds her hand and calmly takes her into the house. Then, we see David crush his medicines. Later, he brings Emma a cup of hot chocolate. The two drink the hot chocolate together and David tucks her to sleep. When he comes back to his room, he calls Angela and tells her everything about Emma's wrongdoings but she doesn't believe him. He apologizes to Angela and vaguely tells her that he has no other options. It turns out that David had added drugs in Emma's hot chocolate in order to overdose her, so that she doesn't kill more people.
but he doesn't tell Angela this. That night when he is asleep, Emma enters his room. She holds a gun in his hand and points it at himself. She fires, but misses, sending the bullet to the pillow beside David. The noise wakes him up and he asks her how is she still alive. Emma replies that she had switched her hot chocolate with David's. Seeing that she was about to kill him, David leaps to snatch the gun from her hand. Emma quickly takes his phone and calls 911. She then runs away to the bathroom as David follows her with the intention to kill her. Emma tells the 911 operator that her father is trying to kill her. David breaks open the bathroom door and points his gun at Emma. Just then, the housekeeper appears behind him with his rifle. When David is about to kill Emma, he shoots him instead. Emma watches as her father falls down to the ground and dies. The police arrive too. Cut to the following morning, and Angela arrives at the scene. She tells Emma that her dad was probably sick. The movie ends as we see Emma hug Angela and smirk, with a cold predatory look on her face. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.